Hey guys, how are you? Hopefully everyone gets a chance to jump on. I believe my internet's good. What's going on? Yes, okay, hello, Denise, hi. Okay, you guys can hear me, yes? Um, let me go back through and see if it's all streaming. I think it is. Perfect. How are you guys? So many fun ideas have been shared the last two days, right? It's just been so fun. I hope a lot of you guys are getting some creating time in and you are actually um, having fun as well because it's a party after all, right? Parties are meant to be fun. Okay, I am gonna put that down there. So today we actually, I'm gonna be creating a, uh, a simple album and so I'll let everyone kind of jump on for a moment. Hello, hello guys, how are you? From Oregon, Wyoming. Oh, it's so fun to see where everyone's from all over the US in different areas of the world too. That's so fun. So welcome. Okay, you guys ready to create along? You know what, let me grab the principle that I'm gonna be using today. Um, you know, I do apologize. Life has been kind of crazy. I wish I would have like gave a little intro so you guys could actually maybe have some file folders and create one along with me. If not, hopefully the idea just inspires you and, and you can kind of maybe be inspired in different ways through what I have to share with you, the fun project that I have to share with you guys. But the principle that I'm going to be using is over on the events page on our website. Here is the free principle. So I want to share that with you guys and so that you know where that is, okay? All right. Pin that comment. Good, we're set. I know some of you guys might ask. Okay, so let me go ahead and change our view so that you guys can see this workspace here. You guys see all of that? Great. Okay. Oh, good. You've been having so much fun. Good. I'm so glad. All right. So as I mentioned, I'm going to be creating, I've actually created this previously for a class uh, for Debbie, one of our creative partners. So, um, and a few of you probably have seen it too. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to do similar project. So, um, but it's a little bit different. Many of you guys probably remember this fun fresh take on the file folders. Um, a lot of you guys have done different versions of them and I've loved seeing them. So I'm just gonna give you a quick look. It's just another style, all made out of file folders as our base, right? So like this was a fun one. Um, I probably should find that link on YouTube. I will show you guys how to make this one. We already have a YouTube thing um, showing you kind of the concept. And of course it varies based off of um, how you decorate it. So like, here's another one uh, that has some like, we did these with my daughter, um, Abigail. So like, this is our one that we did when we went to Europe and she wanted another one when we went to like Washington DC and New York and Philadelphia. So they're little travel journal books for her and that are, that's like perfect for her age, but they're just super fun to make and really simple and easy. But I've been playing around and I thought, you know what, let's try a different kind of uh, file folder. <laughs> And so we're going to be playing around with a six wide, six inch wide. So it's a little bit different. So I'm going to start there, right? So what you need is, um, oh, Christy said do more Q&As. It was so much fun. Okay, Christy, will do. And what we're going to need is two file folders for this. If they're your uh, typical eight and a half by 11. I went to the dollar store. I'm going to tell you guys this right really fast, but I ran out of them and they have the legal size. So if you go to the dollar store and you just pick up a pack of legal size, then technically you could get, you know, your 12 inches out of that. Um, because what we're going to do is to get this base to start our mini album, we're going to cut it to six inches. So for example, I would take this file folder and I would cut this down to six inches. If you want this tab more in your design, then maybe cut up around it. So like I cut a little off the top and then go to six inches so that that file tab. So if you wanna work with that in your design, 
pay attention to that. Um, and then of course you could do two, but then that might be offset. So you might want to offset it. So you would just, that's it. Cut it to six inches. I kept the length. We're gonna, we're gonna tighten them up and I'll show you kind of what I did. Cool. Um, so, okay, perfect. So that's it. That's the basics. Now, again, go look for file folders. They're so much fun. I've, I've been playing around with them a little bit. I have a couple more classes that I want to show you. Actually, here's a finished one. It's a cruising one. Same concept, just taking the six inches um, design and decorating those up. So that's what we're going to be accomplishing. But um, of course, changing the paper look as well. And then we'll, we can add little, like I added little tags in this one. So you can add like this interactive flip flip thing. And I'm gonna show you basically how I went about doing that. So a little bit different than the previous file folder design. Um, so lots of fun. Okay, so once you have those, okay guys, so if you happen to have file folders, then go create along with me. That's what I was saying. I hope that I wish I would have gave a little introduction to this, but you know, it's been kind of fun and busy and crazy, but busy is good. And at least I can show you guys the basics of what I did. And then of course, I would always love to see your guys' versions. Um, and then this reprintable is the one that I just linked. So I'm gonna be using that. I have my bases um, and then to cover these because you have, let's see, well, you have the front one, two, three, if you only do two of them, you could do as many as you want. Four, five, six, seven, and if you did the back eight. So I do recommend that you, you know, cut some six inches um, strips. I think it's easier that way if you just prep a little bit before. So I went ahead and did these five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I went ahead and did ten, just so I had that extra. Um, so I did that prep work too. So I just wanted to point that out that I cut these down to six inches, very efficient use of your paper. Again, that's why I thought it was fun to do a six inch. Um, also really great because the tiny borders are six inch too. So the tiny border is really fun on projects and fun little albums like this. Um, okay. Karen says I have tons of file folders in all colors. <laughs> so you're set, <laughs> good, go grab them. Let's, let's create something out of them and put them to use other than boring old file folders. Um, okay, so let's just go ahead and get started with that. So what I'm gonna do is I personally liked this pattern and guys, I just went and picked this, these patterns that you see, they're just from Hobby Lobby. Um, so any good old papers, paper stash, go through your stash and combine a couple that maybe work together. I think that's what's fun is that in a mini album, specifically, you can really um, put some papers that maybe you wouldn't naturally put together or something because it's, you know, every page on its own. So great way to use up your papers, your paper, <laughs> paper stash in different ways too. Okay, so to start off with, we're going to first cover, I just covered each piece first. So starting with my front cover, and this is where we're just gonna just go right into it, guys. Um, I like to use, like when I do little mini albums, you can use any type of adhesive. But for me, I tend to pull on some more of like double-sided tape for projects, just because I this stuff is really strong. Um, this is home hobby. I think I picked it up. I don't even know where, maybe like Tuesday morning or something. I just picked these up and then I mostly pull on them when I'm doing more project based um, things because I feel like they are really strong and work really great for it. So um, because you you handle these a lot more. You know, like mini albums, your hands are more on them. So you really want to make sure that the tape that you're using is really strong. I do, I like to. Okay, all right. So to start off with, I actually start by covering these. And so that's why I also use this tape. Where did my scissors go? Unbelievable. I need to start checking for my scissors before I go live. No joke. I'm not joking right now, guys. Where are my scissors? I can't do a live without scissors. 
This is getting out of control, you guys. <sighs> Scissors. Okay, hold on. I gotta go yell at one of my kids. Oh my goodness, this happens literally every time. You guys think I would learn by now? Just give me a minute. Hold on. Seriously. Hey, uh, Lacey, did you take my scissors today? Those ones, right? There. That's it. Thank you. Okay. We're good. We're good. We got scissors, guys. We got them. <laughs> I don't know where the old faithful red ones are. Those ones are, I don't even know, but these ones will work at least. So cover these up. He says, it just makes me laugh a little because I really am going to have to start putting a checklist together before I go live. I just, you know, I think I would stop assuming or just, I expect them. My expectations or something I don't know but they're not there they're not so I do a lot of more adhesive you guys seen where on my layouts I kind of just do the corners and things but when I'm doing more albums I try to do a good all the edges right I know a lock Linda I know lock them up I need to I absolutely need to it's so crazy um and I'm not going to ink yet. I probably will make that like my end thing. Uh, I'll go around and ink the whole album as far as the edges go. But all I'm going to do is adhere this front down. Okay. Okay. This adhesive, just for one, if you're working with like adhesive tape, it's seriously like strong. So especially if you're using thin paper like this that I just happened to pick up because it was fun and bright. Make sure you slow down and get those a um, little bit aligned, right? I've, I've learned, so I'm just sharing those live and learn lessons with you, right? We've probably all been there, but still, it's one of those things. Um, now this one, this other one that we have is gonna go inside of here. And I think it's fun to add a little bit of edging to it. So I'm not gonna get ahead of myself. Hold on, let me start by just, covering this other side and then I'll show you the next step so then you'll just take the next pattern and we will cover the next inside as well all right um Stacy I love my mini folder albums they're so much fun I really think this is a fun like like I said I, it's just so fun to see all ages that I just love how mini albums kind of speak to all ages and so, yeah, now I am, of course, doing a birthday theme because of the printable, but these can, again, could be in any kind of theme. Like you saw, I did one for the Europe and one for the US trip and um, different things. One of the thoughts that I had for my album, well, so we are getting birthday seasons. Um, mine was early August. My twins is end of August. Their birthday is August 29th. And then it rolls right into Lacey's, who's is in September's, and then um, Riley's, that's is in uh, November. So I thought I would do, I don't know if I'll do it with this one, but I definitely think I'm going to do another one. I was hoping to prep it, but one of my thoughts I was going to do, because the girls are turning 18, I did start gathering pictures, is to gather like pictures throughout their first 18 years. So I need to grab some baby pictures and I thought it would be fun to do like a progressive like little mini album that went from, you know, baby phase to toddler phase to, you know, uh, elementary phase to middle school phase, high school phase, and just do a quick collection of all those photos. So, so not only are little mini albums fun and simple little projects, they, they definitely are a little, they're fun on their own but they also make really fun gifts as well. So I think that's great. Okay, so I'm going to <laughs> slow down here, Susan, and put this on, put this slowly on. And again, I'm gonna ink those edges and you can always trim up the edges a little too. 
Okay, so I have this excess. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm simply gonna take like one of the designs and add an edging to each one. And I did wait till I put them both on so that I only have to trace and cut it once. So I just need to see where basically that edge is. If I really wanted to, I guess you could just cut those off. Of course, don't throw it away because this is what we're gonna be using for the other layers in your album. Okay, so now that I have that, now I'm just gonna go to the edge. And this is just Cedar Trails 1A. You can use scallops, you can use one of the tiny borders, you can use any of the fun, uh, fun borders, any of those I think would add such a fun trim to your, to your element. So hold on, I think I wanna go in just a little bit more cause I kinda wanna do this waterfall effect. So I definitely on this first layer, I do wanna come in more. So I'm gonna go just a little bit more in. So just to kind of give you guys an idea, no, just a little bit more, <laughs> just a little bit more. That's probably a good one inch in from the edge of the file folder itself. Okay. We can always trim it up a little bit more, but just adding a little bit of design around that edge. And you might have to go in and add a little bit more adhesive. Oh, nope, I'm good. If the, the corners come up, I would definitely recommend if you happen to cut off a lot of that adhesive we just put on, but I'm good. So that's good. And then of course I'm gonna ink that because inking, oh yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna ink it really quickly just so we can see how cute this edging is gonna be. It's gonna give it such defined little decorative edge. It's gonna be cute. So I always start with my cover. The cover is the hardest. Why did I think of a song? What is the song? Something is the hardest. First time. Anyways, the cover is the hardest. <laughs> Somebody should remake all the songs into scrapbooking songs because I always think about them every time I'm talking about scrapbooking. Um, well, good, Kelly. I'm glad I'm not the only one that has disappearing magical scissors that somehow always, always disappear when I go live. Maybe they're shy. Maybe my scissors are shy and they're just shy of lives. I don't know what <laughs> shy scissors. Um, the, oh, that's it. Heather, the first cut is the deepest. I'm like, there's a song. So why is everyone thinking that? That's the melody I thought of when the, the cover is the hardest. Um, Shelly, yeah, don't be creating when you're driving, please. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, your birthday's on the 31st. Happy birthday coming soon, Dietra. Um, Christina Still, this one, we do have a tutorial. I have a tutorial over on YouTube. So if you go to our YouTube channel, QB Lane YouTube, and you search in the file, like file folder, you'll see that. But this one, um, I have not done a video yet. I'm just showing you guys now. So step one, cut them at six inches. Okay, no, I'm, I'm in a I'm in a live bud. Okay, shut the door, please. Thank you. Okay, so you would do the same process, right? So maybe I should just do that really quickly. Should I just do that or should we yeah, let me just let me just finish it up. Then I'll, then we're to the decorating and that's always fun. So the, the little bit of the prep work is definitely to, to do this. Now in the prep work, if you want to add any interactive things, then you want to do it before you lay down your base of your paper. So for example, like this one has another bracket in it. Um, these, this one that I showed you has these tags, right? So just depending on how you want to add other little basically little pages of their own. So on this one, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just do a tag coming down from the top. So you're gonna just take your extra file folder. You know, if you don't have that, then of course any cardstock, cause I think a good cardstock would be thicker than the file folder material. But so um, this is tags five and I went ahead and traced it on there already and I'm just gonna cut it out of our material here. I'm 
going to do a tag addition and a bracket addition too, so you guys can see that. So because I want it on this second page here, basically all you're going to do, and I want it coming from the top. So this one, I thought I would do it from the top. These ones I did from the inside here. So let me explain that. So after you cut out your design, whatever that is that you want, then you would fold over the base or the top of it, just like this. A good half inch, how it, well, it depends on how long you wanted it to be. If you wanted it to be shorter, then, then do it a little bit more, right? Okay. And if, so what we're gonna do is just, again, add some adhesive right here and attach it down. And then when we add our papers, that will cover that those those uh, raw seams if I want it inside of like if I wanted it here then that's where I'm saying you would have done it before you put this paper down because you would have put this like this right and then you would have put the blue on top it would have covered those seams for you so it just depends on how you want to decorate it but just keep that in mind if you want to add little interactive uh, pocket tabs then you would do it um, on the raw, raw surface before you start covering it with your paper. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add this one here. And again, that's why I like to use this more project tape when I'm doing projects. I do not use this when I'm scrapbooking. <laughs> so it is purely just something I recommend for when you're doing more projects like this, okay? And again, I'm just going to, I want to bring it in because I'm going to be adding a decorative edge. So I want to make sure that it's in a good amount here. Okay. And then um, you can still add a photo or something under it. We'll probably will add a photo. Let me go in just a little bit more to be safe there. And there we go. Okay. Let me go ahead and do the other one. So I want to add a bracket. Same thing, okay, you would take your, your extra, and where's my bracket? You would take your bracket, trace that out, okay. If you wanted this to be a little longer, we could have gone a little bit more to give it just a little bit more length on the edge that we're gonna be folding. So keep that in mind, but I think we're good, so I'm not too worried about it. And then we would trace and cut that out. Um, because of time, I already went and cut one out because um, we want to get through as much of this possible. Um, and then we're going to do the same thing. You'll fold it. So right here on the edge where you're gonna adhere it to your album, then you can fold it. Now guys, you can have fun with all kinds of different pockets. So depending on what style, like look at the designer templates and think, what kind of pockets would make, or what kind of designs would make really fun little additional pockets, okay? And, and then do those. So like, for example, I really loved how this one we used, see, look at that, the long, because we did the long book, right? Um, I used the vintage a la carte. If you guys don't have the vintage a la carte, it is so much fun. I love the vintage a la carte. It's just the one that comes in the set because it's an a la carte, but it's so cute. So I loved how that one, because of the longness, it was cute. And again, I know I already showed you guys this, but I just want to point it out because I don't know, just have fun. Just have fun with them because I can see, I just only did these two. Um, and, but, you know, I could have added another one so that it was almost like a waterfall of tags going all the way down there. So, okay. So let me go ahead and attach that one. And then we don't have to be worried about, oh shoot, I forgot, I started to get into autopilot and covering them all. And I forgot to add my little, little tag. So I've done that before. So that's why I'm saying step one, I guess, um, design the album itself. Step two, cover the pages with your paper. And then three, decorate, decorate it up. And then of course, fourth, add your pictures. So. That's, that's the process we're gonna be going through here, okay? And, and these ones are fun, the six inch version, just because like I said, you can use, 
your 12 by 12 cut it in half six inches it's going to go really far and you could absolutely um it's simple there's not i mean there's no special folding it's literally just cut two at six inch wide and then you're going to place them inside of each other now i will say so like this adhesive's a little over that's okay we're going to cover it like make sure that like this fold line right here that you're oh my alarm's going off why is my alarm going off okay there we go okay make sure that that's like right lined with your foldage so that your seams are nice and clean there all right so let's now go back to yep okay let's go back to covering my pages so i want to go from blue let's go to I'm going to do the pink on the next page. And we'll just do the same thing here. Yeah, these fun, there are a lot of fun colors. It's got almost like a springy feel. Just fun. And again, paper is what's going to set the mood. So if you guys are like, oh, this is really girly. Um, sorry, I just had a thought. You know what I'll do, guys? This principle, I matched it to the paper that I was using, which I think will match a variety of papers, I'm sure of it. But what I'll do is I'll go in and add one that's maybe like oranges and blues so that if anyone wants to do a little bit more of a masculine or boyish one, again, just depending on what papers, then you'll have two versions of this, this principle. So I'll, I'll do that, okay? So I just did the one to match mine, but I'll go back in and add a second version for those that might need it. Because again, they're really fun projects for like, if you have a niece, which I've done one for my niece for her birthday. Nope, I don't wanna do that. I wanna do it on the album itself, not the paper because the album is already accurate to the size. Um, a child, a grandson, granddaughter. What a fun way to, to personalize something, right? Use your, your interest your skills and to create a fun, unique, a unique gift. I mean, it could be Christmas. I mean, there's so many variations. I, I've already seen the versions of the other file folders that you guys have done. I mean, Jody, one of our creative partners, I swear she's done so many and every single one of them is just unique and fun and different on its own. So much fun. And, you know, Stacy's done tons of them. So cute, love them. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I need to not forget to do that on the principle. So I'm sure I'll remember, but I'll make sure to do it, Jenny, after I get done here. It won't take me long. It'll take me like 10 minutes or so. And then I'll add it to that, that same event page. So you'll see two versions that you can download. Okay. All right. Good and sticky. Did you guys see that? It's like sticky, sticky, central. All right. So same process. I know, I just wanna to get to the decorating part. We might have to just start with the decorating of the front cover. And then take eat page at page because I'm, I'm getting anxious to, to just start playing with it. <laughs> just start playing with it, right? Um, yes, so see how easy that was? And then as far as the tag, you would want to, to cover that as well. And so we'll probably do that in the decorative process. Um, I'm not gonna add the edging because I feel like why cut it twice? I'm just gonna cut it once, but I will detach this so that I'm not dealing with, with hangovers on that, little extra things. So if I go from blue to pink, a pattern, you could do more patterns in here too. I'm definitely gonna be throwing in some polka dots in the mix, but I've always preferred my backgrounds on my layouts and my albums. I kind of love that more neutral blending patterns because then as you start to layer, it doesn't get too crazy busy. That's where the patterns can come into play, but we'll get to that. All right, let me go ahead and cover one more and then I think we'll jump jump gears and just start, I don't know, creating a little. So again, I'm just gonna add that right on top now of that, that bracket fold that I just did. So I'm just gonna add another layer there, right? 
Same thing. So again, any kind of adhesive will work. I just recommend and suggest that more of this, this project tape. I really feel like I pick this up. Like I, when I go to like Tuesday morning or something like that, I feel like I just pick up when I see rolls, I just pick them up and have them in a bucket so that I, when I need them. Cause I don't use it as much as my other adhesives, but I like to have this, this tape on hand, but <laughs> I always have these, <laughs> these pieces all over the place. I just throw them on the floor. I know those people that are like, OCD or would die if they saw how messy my floor gets when I scrapbook because I just toss it on the floor, toss it on the floor. Yeah, Nancy, hey, I was explaining that, that with the double-sided, I like to use it for projects because I, um, because you handle it more, like it's not in a page protector, for example, you know, and so for me, I like to have that stronger um, tape for projects, like more class, you know, special projects like albums like this. So I'm trying to get that lined up and I'm off a little, I'm off, but uh, there's no, it's not forgiving. That's okay. I'm going to ink that up and it will seriously cover that, but I'm going to have to trim that now. <laughs> And that is why I'm telling you guys to make sure you're paying attention to when you carry it down if you're using double sided tape that's strong wheeled because it is stubborn once it's down. But like in all things, you can find a solution. It's not end of the world, right? Okay, so then one more time, I'm just going to show that process since now we have another page adhered and down. So I'm gonna take my design and go a little further out because I want to end up with this, this water feel effect here. Okay. I'll go about there. And you could, I did mine similar, like so that they're the same, but you can also offset them so that the points aren't lining up. So I'm trying to decide. I want to offset mine. I think I will. I think this one I'm going to offset. So let me just, whoop, it's going to shake the table, guys. Okay. So what I'm saying is, see how the points are like this? I'm going to adjust it so that the points go in between my other ones. So it kind of gives it more of a feathered look. So you can choose how you kind of want that to look on your decorative edges. I'm gonna have to raise that a little bit more, hold on. Oh, it shakes the table so bad. I don't raise much when I'm doing this, but inking, inking is gonna come in and save the day. So that's the process. Just cover the pages and then, um, your own little decorative edge. So again, it would be so cute. Like I can see it being so cute. So um, I'm trying to find like a tiny border, right? So like the cheerful that we use on our cards often are so cute. You could have a little edging like that. You can mix it up and do every layer different. That would be cute actually, <laughs> that'd be really cute. All right. So again, I just, this is very thin, cheap paper that I just picked up at Hobby Lobby. I like the thin paper too sometimes for projects like this. Um, I like to use thick paper too though. <laughs> you just use what you got. Whatever you got, use it. There's no wrong or right when it comes to that. Okay. I'm still gonna have to erase that a little bit more there. Maybe I'll just blend that. There we go, that works. Alrighty, so I'm gonna backtrack. 
we'll come back to these pages. We'll see as far as we go. But I do want to start playing a little with you guys. Where are we at? 530? Okay. I know that Annis is coming up behind me with a fun layout uh, sketch that she's going to be designing with you guys. So I want to make sure to save her time too. Um, okay, so as far as the front goes, uh, I was thinking about using, so I designed this one right here. Let me just share that with you guys. I designed that one. Well, let me grab it. Um, where is my tiny celebrates? There it is. So tiny celebrate a T. So the reason why it's off to the left a little is so that you can have a space. So I did design it to go with that one. Of course you can, I'm sure it will work with a lot of other ones. You can put your balloons in the happy birthday. So have fun with that. And I believe both sizes, sizes of that balloon look really cute in that. So let me put that over there. And I'm gonna probably, because it's a birthday themed one that I'm doing, I'm going to pull on the adorable party accessory set. <laughs> I love it so much. This is the one that's up for pre-sale. So you guys, if you haven't had a chance to, to check that out, it's come out of the vault. So if you don't have the party accessory set, now is your chance to get it. It's so cute. So yeah, so there's two sizes in the Celebrate, um, Tiny Celebrate and the Celebrate, but just so you can see that. But I do want to take a moment and just show you like, other variations. So when you lay them over these, I mean, one you could do a circle if you wanted to. You could do, oh boy, I don't even know. Like, I wanted to cut it out of the arrow, probably. I you know that would be a tight fit just based off of how it's designed. But, anyways play around with other sets, but that's often what we do, even with the Kiwi Clubs, when you see the title cards, um, they are designed to help you utilize them with the designer templates, okay? So before I chase and cut it though, I want to maybe design. So if I did do something like that, I was thinking about putting just tons of balloons like behind it. Mm -mm. Or should I use the party, party accessory set? Maybe a party hat? In the mix. Are you home? Thank you. Yeah. The lines are so long. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. I gave her my grocery list and Abby just went and got to the groceries and she was like, oh my gosh, this is so much work. And I was like, I appreciate you going. <laughs> Thank you, hon. Okay. I think that's what I'll play around with. So let me let me start grabbing a couple of those. Now I do have some more balloons. No, I did. They're a little bit bigger. Let me show you the difference. So this is the accessory balloon, and this is the tiny balloon. So you can tell that, you know. A big difference there. I do feel like when it comes to mini albums of any kind, the tiny borders and the tiny accessories are often what I use most, just because of course the sizing. So I think I will stick to more of those tiny, tiny balloons, just to give it a little bit more delicacy. Karen, will the new party set come with eyelets or will it be flat? So we've made that transition that all of them do not include eyelets based off of the poll that we did last year. So no, no longer will we manufacture with eyelets because a lot of people were pulling them out. And I'm more concerned about that image, about how that looks when you pull these out than I am about the image um, for someone to actually just add an eyelet if they need it. These are, of course, our old sets, so. Um, Cheryl, it, the principle is um, in that pinned comment if you want that principle. Yes, those are the storage cards, Pamela, that I use, correct, that are in the shop. How do you attach the inside page to the mini book? Oh, so what you're going to do there is you just add some string. So let me show you here on this one. Sorry, I missed some of those comments. 
So I just tied some string around them and that's how it combines the two together. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of a look there. What else we got? I've actually used it for file folders. I love the rainbow stripe. Okay, I think I'm caught up. Yeah, correct, Karen. So the, we've made that transition. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my principal. Let's go ahead and cut that out and layer some balloons up and around it. I actually had the idea when I was like, oh, I wonder what we'll do on the front cover. I didn't design it yet, but one of the things that made me think about, oh, I wonder if I should do my cover with balloons around it is the, if you look at our little image um, that our graphic designer um, Stephanie made for the 11th birthday, I love how she put balloons up and around it. So that's what inspired me for my scrapbooking page album here. I was like, oh, like the image, like uh, it was in the top of the, the email that went out and it was, it was like the main logo for this event for the 11th birthday, it was super cute. So I thought that was fun. Whenever I do white, I definitely try to do a lighter ink edge just because I don't want it to like look dirty or anything. But of course, if you use different colors, but I don't, I only use this one ink color. So purely because of I'm lazy <laughs> and it works. When something works, you're like, it works. So yeah, I think that would be cute. Maybe what I'll do is one on the front and then just pile some up behind it. Well, let me just cut out a couple of balloons. Why don't I do that? So let me start there. I did pull on my scraps. So I went out of the couple sheets that I had because I wanted a little bit more solid. So I quickly um, scrounged through my scrap bucket and I found all of these other additional patterns that I didn't actually technically buy at the same time. But of course it works. Like that pinwall's not the same line, even close. But um, so yay for scraps of paper. So I keep my scraps in a bucket and occasionally when I know that I'm gonna do a project like this, I'll just go through and find any additional coordinating colors and patterns. Cause this is where it's fun to really mix up a little bit more patterns in the mix, but with the solids, I think it'll be really cute. We'll see, we'll see if it's really cute, but I think I can see it. I can see it. I think it's gonna be really cute. Yeah, I'm gonna use some cardstock in the mix too. I believe, yes, Mary, cause I think that will help with this background busyness. But also these blenders kind of act as cardstock. Sometimes that's why I love blenders. Okay, when I use the terminology blenders, just in case anyone's not familiar, blenders are like where you have two tones. And that's often you'll hear us say, we recommend those for backgrounds. You definitely need to pull blenders in. If you pull in too many patterns all the time, it gets a little busy and some almost um, consuming and overwhelming, especially if you're doing scrapbook pages, it almost consumes your picture. So. This is why it's so important to whether look for paper lines that have blenders or you have to add on additional blenders um, because it tones things down, okay? But I also love that when it's blenders and versus cardstock because then you get texture. You, because of the pattern that's on there, that gives you a little bit more of that texture quality. Like when I say quality, like it just has a quality about it. Like, you know, um, I don't know. Yeah, hopefully that makes sense. So I tend to prefer more blenders over cardstock. I would rather have a huge stash of blenders than I would personally have a huge stash of cardstock. And we're looking into it before you guys say anything. I want to provide options for blenders, <laughs> not a cardstock necessarily, but for blenders. Because that's what I prefer. Um anyways. But you can't, it's, you can't go wrong. I'm saying I like cardstock too. It's just, I prefer a good blender over just a, uh, um, a basic cardstock. So, um, can we see your bucket? Oh, you can see my bucket here. I'll change my, your bucket of templates, like, uh, this bucket? Is that what you're talking about? 
my my work my work little bucket over here that I have. I just keep it right next to me and thumb through it and grab what I need. It's really fun. Okay, hold on. I gotta get back to your guys' comments now. Um, well, I'll I'll cut some of these and then I'll come back, but at least I can see, you guys can see my face for a moment and then I'll switch gears again so it doesn't get too crazy. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do a few more giveaways. We do have the one giveaway that I'm definitely going to mention here. Um, actually, let's just go ahead and throw it out there. We've been live for 15 minutes. So the winner of this live's $25 giveaway through the RSVPs is, and you have to be here, Julie Hines. Julie, are you with us? I'll give her a minute to comment. And then if not, we'll go back down the list. But Julie, if you are with us, you are our lucky winner for this live's winner. So let me know. Hey, Jill, how are you? Sorry, you guys can't see it. I'm focused on what I'm doing and trying to not miss Julie. Miss Julie Hans. Um, if she's with us, like I said, I'll give her a minute and then we'll go, we'll go on and see who our next lucky winner is. Okay, so I have this glitter. I have this like scrap glitter. I mean, literally this is from my scrap. So I'm hoping definitely I can get a little um, balloon out of that. And I think, oh, do I want glitter? Glitter is like a statement. <laughs> and I, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with, with glitter. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but let me cut some out because again, I'm just cutting out a variety of different balloons so that we can do like a collage around it. Okay, I don't see Julie. So we'll move on to the other one. Okay. Um, Lori, yes, my shirt. We are working on getting some, some merchandise. It's on our list in the shop. So hopefully coming soon, hopefully coming soon. I hate glitter, Helen says. <laughs> I told you, it's kind of like a love hate. And I think my friend Mindy, who if you guys know, over in product management on our well, she sends me packages and she decides to put like glitter in my packages. So every time I open a package these days, I get so scared because I need to make sure that I get to a spot that I can have the mess. So now I kind of have like anxiety with glitter because I'm like, oh no, what's in the package? <laughs> yeah, so I think I might need some bigger balloons in here. We'll see. You guys can't see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna go to the next person. All right, let's see. The next winner is Stephanie Bond. Is Stephanie with us? Stephanie, let us know if you are with us. If you are, then you are the lucky winner for the tonight's giveaway. So the deal with that is that you have to be live here and that you, um, if not, we go down the list. I use um, sent her tissue balls. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, my other daughter's home. She left us for a week to go to a friend's house. Glitter explodes everywhere and it never ever goes anywhere. Okay. I, Stephanie Bond, if I see your comments, please comment so that we know you're with us. Otherwise, the chances are increasing for everybody else. Stephanie Bond. Darn, I got excited when I heard Stephanie. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm trying to decide how many balloons I wanna do. Is it killing you guys not seeing what I'm doing? Um, I know Stephanie, lots of Stephanie's, but not Stephanie Bond. Okay, she's not with us, guys. We gave her a fair chance. Sonia Hart. Sonia Hart, are you with us live tonight? Sonia Hart. If so, you are the next one on the list for the price is right. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I 
Is Sonia here? Yes. One in the 169, good odds. <laughs> It is good odds. All righty. Last night, man, we must have got lucky. We literally called the first name. That's why we were testing this out instead of like commentary, but I'll probably do a couple extra giveaways in my life because I can. <laughs> but um, anyways, yeah the first one we named off was happened to be there so okay i don't see her so we're gonna move on so maria turner maria turner are you with us tonight maria turner lori baker says i'm here <laughs> uh Okay, this, yes, I did make this. This is on my list to do a video. I just haven't gotten to it yet, but it will be part of our crafting events once we get those back in motion after the birthday events. We're gonna have a consistent event. And that's one of the projects that I absolutely wanna share with you guys. So I have it on my list to do a tutorial video. So I will be sharing very soon. It was really easy and very inexpensive, which that's always nice too. I could be Marie, <laughs> Maria. Okay, so before I call the next name off, just because I don't want to um, get lost in the commentary and miss somebody. So before I say the next person, let's just do a $5 gift certificate. And on this one, then we'll go back to the $25 one. Then on this one, what I'm going to do is the first person, it's going to be tricky, maybe, I don't know, to comment, when is the day? What is the day of my twin's birthday? I mentioned it early on. What day of the month? It's it is this month. So what day of the month is my twins birthday? And the first comment I see um, will win. So Linda, correct. August 29th. Linda Bracht, you are a lucky winner. Okay, Linda. Um, so I'm going to email support at qlane.com. And uh, they will add the $5 store credit to your account. Okay. You might have to wait till Monday though. Okay. August 29th. So a lot of you guys are listening. Good listeners. I hate also like, I don't even know. You don't have to actually ink glitter paper, but that's another, I don't like to do it because then it gets in my dauber as well. So but it is kind of cute. So let's, let me show you guys what I've been working on. Okay, before I do that, here's the next person. Cherie Van Durell. Cherie Van Durell. Are you with us, Cherie? Because if so, you're a lucky winner. Cherie, are you with us? I sure hope so. If not, here, I'm going to see if I can tag her. It will only show her in the tag. There you are. Yay, Cherie. Okay, Cherie, you are the lucky winner. Yay. Okay, Cherie, you are this live's $25 store credit winner. So we will um, get that one into your account. So I will make sure that support knows that. And um, like I said, it might be Monday at this point um, when the team gets back, but they will, they will have that. Current, congrats, 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 Cherie, congrats, yay. All right, we found our lucky winner. We found ya. Okay, here's my balloons so far. Kind of got lost in the picking of the names, but got to pick this up a gear. Where are we at on timing? I'm trying to think how many more balloons to add. Maybe we could even add, I told you guys, the, 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 I always do a little bit more on the cover because of, I don't know, it's just fun. So um, 
Should maybe throw in some card stocks here now. I, I do love all of my solids. All my blenders seem to be polka dot on this project. <clears throat> so the only dark blue I had, I even looked for a card stock was this one. I think it's a little too dark for this project. So I think that one, I think a little bit more blue will brighten it up as well. So that will be cute. And I could absolutely, you know, a fun, another fun design would be to have all these tied down and such on the cover too. I really do love the, another benefit to the designer templates in themselves is that it's so easy to get a little design out of even the smallest piece of scrap of paper. So I love that because you don't have to guesswork on it. You simply just line it up and you know if that scrap of paper is gonna work or not. So I really love that. So easy to utilize those scraps of paper. I definitely think we need a couple more little things there. Now I did mention that I could put a, I don't know, I kind of like just balloons in there. What do you guys think? Should I put the birthday hat in the mix too? There's also this adorable bow that's in the party. It's kind of cute too. <laughs> That's kind of cute too. I just, I can see it being just like a cluster of layers there. I feel like it's taking away from my banner effect a little bit. It's kind of fun. What do you guys think? No, no, no hat, nope. Just balloons. I like the balloons, I do too. What about the what about the bow? Do you guys like the bow? So that's the bow, okay? And then that's just a balloon layered in front now. So bow, yes or no? Just balloons? No, just balloons. All right. We love the balloons. Okay, I do love that bow. It's so cute though. Um, then I'm going to pull a green over here. I don't need to cut the whole thing because I'm tucking it behind, except for if I decide to pull some strings down, I might need that in. So I'm just going to cut the end because I don't know if I'm going to do strings or not yet. So never mind. I will cut the whole, whoops, the whole balloon there. Hey, boy, this front cover, I'm telling you guys. I, I spend so much more time on my front cover than anything else. Anything else. You guys like the balloons, good. Okay. I do think maybe some string will add a little bit of texture. Um, I, I have plenty of, you know, twine to pull from. So let me maybe pull out some pink here. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. There's a really hot pink if I wanted that to be. Hmm, I'm not sure if I, I like the pot of string yet or not, but I just want to test it out really fast. If you guys bear with me, I do need one more color here. Yellow? Yeah, I think I'll pull yellow back over there. So let me pull that and trace that out. Okay, the cover is the first impression. You're so right, Alice. And yet we're not supposed to judge a book by its cover. I don't know. We say that, but you know, we somehow all do in literal, literal form. <laughs> like literally when I'm picking out a book to read, I absolutely <laughs> look at the cover. <laughs> it's fairly important. So words of wisdom, except for unless you're taking it literal. <laughs> um, 
it's super cute. Okay, so let's just see if we like the concept of the string. It will take me a moment to tie all of these on. I guess if I don't, I think it's gonna be cute actually. <laughs> we'll see. Because I only have a six inch wide base to work with, which is what's got me a little concerned is just will it, you know, go down um, on that. This is actually reminding me of that other page we did live with the balloons. <laughs> it's actually reminded me of that same thing, which on that one, instead of doing the tying of the, the things, it was actually easier for me to just flip it over simpler way. Oh, my, my twine is all, look at this, it's like a big hot mess. I just threw it in the jar. Now I have to pay for that. Okay. It was easier just to go like this and instead of tying it. I actually think it works laying it down flat too, especially because I'm going to pull them all together. So little adhesive there. Next one on that. I could draw the strings in too, Carrie. You're absolutely right. But I, I think the thing that attracted me to the idea in the first place was the texture. But you could absolutely doodle a little and draw those in. So I'm just going to do that really quickly. Well, we might just get the cover done. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We still have a good 45 minutes left. So I will just need to pick this up a speed and um, we'll see how fast we can get some of these pages done. If not, I will make sure to do a little video of the finished pages. But the process is very similar in fashion. Um, I think the main thing is to remember how to I'm doing, I, I would recommend to do longer unless you actually know exactly the length that you need. But since I don't, extra is always better, right? Next. So I always look for like efficient ways to, to do things. That's why I'm doing all of these at the same time. Because then I just, go through them all and then it's kind of a nice way to do that. My brain works that way. I try really hard to like, okay, how much, how can I make this a little bit more efficient? So, um, yeah, the extra little bit of yellow. Yellow's growing on me. I think it's becoming one of my favorite colors. Um, just within like the last year, I really feel like yellow is, I'm kind of changing to a yellow favorite color look. So I'm going to pull this up if that was the case. And, right, something like that. And then the banner. Oh, see that string wasn't as long as I should have done it. So the question is, do I do, I think I should do the banner up a little bit or down up a little so that the balloons, hmm. I didn't have it that way though. So I'm kind of thinking, it is kind of cute though. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay, the other thing that I absolutely see again. So blenders with patterns, keep that in mind because you want things to pop, texture, wherever you can. So if you always think, well, what can I do here? Think of some kind of texture dimension. So which is why I'm putting some pop here. Always helps when you're layering. So when you're layering, um, don't just use a lot of busy patterns, use some blenders and some card stocks and solids and, and then think of textures when you're layering. So like maybe a little glitter, some string, and then um, dimension, which is why I thought, you know, on this front layer, I'm going to use a little bit of um, pop up, 3D pop up on that. And that is super helpful whenever you're trying to accomplish like a layered look. So just keep that in mind. 
So the question is, where do these strings go to? Do I just tie it right here and let it hang? I could do that. So let me cut a little bit more twine here. And I'm gonna probably, you know, I probably need to adhere it down first and then go from there. Okay, so let me adhere it down. Starting with the bottom layer. So we'll go with this one. And it almost takes longer with this tape because you always got to take the, the backs off. And then this is where I would take this little piece off too. And I'm going to go as close to the edge as I can. So again, this is Tiny Celebrate. Um, 1T and 2T balloon size wise that I'm using on these. And so I wanted to make sure like, because I'm going up a little bit more on this design. So I wanna make sure that's up and close to that. And then I'll go to the pink one. Just take one at a time. Um, for those of you, I know a lot of people are like, well, how do I remember pictures? <laughs> Grab your phone, take a picture of your layout if you want to remember maybe how you layered it the first time. So when you go back to adhere it down, you can keep the same kind of feel that you were going for. But this is naturally how I go about doing it. I just try not to overthink it, but just um, do what works for you though. You know, so just taking one layer, kind of placing it back down in the same proximity of where you had it. Yeah, this tape, my nails are not, <laughs> double Z tape, there we go, come on. So I wanted to adhere the balloons down because then when I pull the strings, it's going to be nice and tight. So that's why I decided instead of tying the string first, I wanted to go back and actually place these down. Okay. So hold on, before I put this down, I'm just gonna double check one more time kind of how that positioning, I want that. I still can go down a little. I think I want that to be a little bit further down. Okay. And last but not least, okay, that will work. Okay, it's good enough. So now that those are nice and secure, literally because that double tape. So now the question is, hmm. Up on my banner. And I went higher on my balloons because I want to give the strings a little bit more elongated. I think that's kind of cute. So I think I'm going to go with that. I think I might do double, I might do, even more dimension on this front piece. So I'm gonna add just a little pop-up to the pop-up. So I'm gonna double pop it. <laughs> Great thing is on the mini albums, again, especially on the front cover, it's not like it's in a page protector and it's adding bulkiness to your album. Now, if it was on the, the inside pages, you might wanna not do it as much because it's definitely gonna make it pop up. And do it around about there. And then I'm gonna take my last balloon and add it to the, the top of the top. I was thinking of the bow too, Rebecca, kind of down here. We'll see what on the sizing it looks, if it's, um, if it looks a little uh, out of proportion or if it feels proportional. So let me see. It's kind of cute. What do you guys think? Bow or no bow? Either way, I'm going to tie it really fast. And then we can always layer the bow on the top of it. So I'm going to just quickly tie a knot and bring all my strings together. Like so. Do you guys like the bow? 
I think it's a fun place too. I could probably add a little bit more of that pink because I only use pink once there and all the other colors I used twice. Like I have teal, yellow, and green, but I only use the pink once. <clears throat> okay, now I'm just gonna pull those tight, right? What's that string? There it is. Okay. Um, I'm gonna adhere that down and then put the bow on top. We're filling the bow. We are filling the bow. Everybody likes the bow. All righty. A glue dot or something would work here too, but I'm just going to use the double-sided tape because we're going to put the bow. We decided yes on the bow, so I'm going to do that. Okay, and then a bow. Cute, look how cute. Oh, it's the simple things, you guys. Little joys like that. Simply cute. That's kind of what I, I prefer. Simply cute. Okay, let me quickly cut a bow and our front cover will officially be done. So, should I do another giveaway? Okay, let me think of a giveaway question. You know what we could do? I could go down the list. Let me see who the next person is on there. And we could do a couple more $5 store credits. You guys up for it? Okay, so um, Tina Literal. Tina Literal, are you with us? Let's try some giveaways that way for a moment and then we'll do some other ones. Tina Literal, if you are, if you are a lucky winner of a $5 store credit, let us know in the comments, Tina, if you are with us live. Fun. Sorry, I get kind of lost in the commentary too. Um, it is a cute cover. It's fun. It's amazing what paper can, can do. It's a fun medium to the art. It's a really fun medium. I'm thinking I need something in the middle of this, this bow, maybe a button. Um, I could do a glitter center. I could do either a button again for that dimension texture concept, or I could pull a little bit of glitter paper in the mix. You know what I mean? Like right here in the middle of that bow. I'm trying to think what to do there. Uh, yes, the bow needs some pop-up. It definitely needs a little pop-up. So add some pop-up to those edges. You don't have to add too much, but I'm not gonna add any to the middle because of the bulkiness of the, the um, string already. So I just need it a little bit there. So I'm thinking I can either do, you know, a little glitter here. Let me just try it or I can try to find some buttons. So I'm just marking those and marking the top. And then I gotta basically eye it. Just a little round oval center to that bow. I'm so excited that a lot of you guys will have the opportunity to get this party set. It's such a fun set. Hmm. I feel like the glitter makes attracts my eye too much and I'm almost I don't want my eye to be attracted there. What do you guys think? Um, well, I could double it. You're saying so that it's it's uh, the front part is like up more like this. <laughs> yeah, that'd be really cute. Okay, I'm gonna give it a go. <laughs> Vicky. Oh, Sorry, see, I lost my commentary. Did uh, Tina, did Tina happen to be with us? I'm gonna go up the comments, give me a minute. Tina, 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 nope, I don't see you. I don't see you. Okay, I, I'm agreeing. I don't, I don't like the glitter there. I agree, we're not gonna do the glitter. Okay, Tammy Hagen, Tammy Hagen, are you with us? live because if so you're the five dollar if not i'm going to go to some comment questions for a moment 
a lighter pink for the bow. Oh, I kind of like boldness. I'm more of a bold person. I do have um, Oh, I, I like the bolder. I'm more, I like bolder colors though. So I think I'm going to do my layering thing that, uh, that Vicki mentioned. We'll see how that looks. I love doing the layering with the little pineapple from Tiny Seaside. Is that what you're meaning, right, Vicki? I'm assuming that's what you meant. If not, that's what your comment inspired me to do. <laughs> so if that's not the case, um, yes, you could doodle in the front, you could doodle in that, but I think a little white button maybe to pull the white down. That's the next thought that went my mind is again, this kind of like when you pull colors around, um, it makes it cohesive in your eyes. See, the problem I didn't like about this is just here, I'm going to put it back on. See how instantly your eye like, it almost goes there instead of there, like the whole thing as a whole, instead of being like, drawing your eye to a specific thing unless on a layout you want to do that for a specific reason then you can definitely pay attention to that but that is something i always pay attention to is just the where does it draw you to like where what part is taking the most attention so it's nice on like a two-page layout that's why you it's nice when you balance the patterns because it keeps the the flow the cohesiveness going in your design <laughs> what did I do wrong, Tammy says. <laughs> you did nothing wrong, Tammy, except for having fun and create playing and creating and connecting tonight, sounds like. So Tammy, hey again, you are the winner of the $5 gift certificate. Congrats, congrats. So from the RSVP. So $5 gift certificate to Tammy. Congrats, Tammy. I'm glad that you're playing and creating and connecting a lot tonight. That's awesome. Congrats, congrats. Okay, so if we did that, let's see here. I already had it pop up. Oh, do you guys like the teal or the pink? I've done this layer effect with, so like, so what's great is because then you can like pull this up a little and then you have, the little layer behind too. I kind of like the pink. Oh, I'm so torn, total torn. No, I like the pink. I like the pink. I'm going with it. Going with it. In the day, it's not that big of a deal, huh? Okay, I'm gonna grab a yellow or not a yellow, a white button, just to see what we think of some white down there. This is so fun. Such a fun, happy cover. Cute. I got that one or, oh, that's a good button. I like buttons where they have um, the two and then we could add a little bit of twine there if you wanted to in the button. I think a button works. Cute little buttons to the rescue. So cute. So, so cute. Okay. Well, I added my pop up to this, so I'm going to take my pop off phone, move it over to my teal one. And then put this one down. Oh, my nails are getting long. I need to go get them done and filed back down. They're getting a little impossible to work with. Okay, and then let's. Place that tight and snug. Maybe do a little bit of twirling there. I think I'm gonna do a little pop up in the middle again. We're going layer pops ups here. All right. Cute. Okay. Another pop up there, and then maybe twist those in just a little bit more curly. Uh, 
Mary, she wants to know what's for, yes, I already spilled the beans on that, Mary. <laughs> I already spilled the beans. <laughs> and that was an accident. I'm so, yeah. <laughs> Mindy sent me quite a text. <laughs> she was like, Susan, I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> My brain has been in a lot of places these days. <laughs> it's hard to keep track of all the months and the years and the months and the hours. <laughs> you guys get what I'm saying. <laughs> Life be great, great. <laughs> so yes, sunflower was the hint already. And it's a pretty good hint. <laughs> it's a pretty good hint. <gasps> okay, let me add my uh, germs to it. Yes, I just licked that. It's okay, germs die within like I don't even know what it is, five hours, depending on what type of germ I guess it is. I have to lick my end to get it through. Does anyone else do that? Is anyone grossed out by that? It's like needling a, a, a um, thread through a needle. You lick the end. Anyways, that's what my mom taught me anyhow. So that's what I do. That's what I do. Another hint. Oh, you guys are full of it. Oh my goodness. Always getting me in trouble. <sighs> Sunflower's a good hint. It's a really good hint. It's super cute, by the way. Hey. Hey. You guys making dinner? It's done. Oh, it's done. Well, I'm not done yet. <laughs> you want to I have 30 more minutes. Put it away for you or bring it up? No, I can't eat and scrap. It doesn't work that way. Come on, set a new record. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this is too pretty too. Isn't it adorable? To get ketchup and stuff on it. Oh yeah, it's too cute to bring <laughs> any kind of threat. <laughs> threat to it at all. <laughs> Liquid, any kind of threat. <laughs> I can't let it be. So yeah. funny, I kind of like my buttons not. I had a lady tell me once that, um, you don't, she's like, you don't finish your buttons. And I was like, I kind of prefer my buttons not finished. <laughs> like, I was like, well, what does that mean? Well, when you don't put twine in between, but I kind of um, like. Just the plain? I like the clean look of a button. Oh, I like that. That's cute. You like that? Mm -hmm. Here, I'm going to get another button now. This is why you have a stash, ladies. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't know. Sometimes I think the little two dots sometimes are really, really cute. See how clean that looks? My vote is that one. You like it with you liked it finished. She mm -hmm. yeah. She told me I don't finish my buttons. And I'm like, well Well, I mean it's all about, you know, the scenario. Right. And for this scenario, I like that one. Only because the texture is behind it too. Yeah. Um me too. You guys like clean buttons, simple buttons, or you like finished buttons? <laughs> finished buttons you should have put my travel books back when you're done i will put your travel books back when i'm done we should make a third one but we haven't gone anywhere <laughs> we it's have gone weird. places like where you just we just went oh that's right i went to outer banks without you <laughs> yeah <laughs> you're like, wait I, I, ow well, way to remind me oh you like finish like playing no twine in the button See, people mm -hmm. are with me. No twine. No twine in twi it's No twine in the bun. No twine button. Finish. You have one person on your side. Yeah. So it's your choice at this point because they're a mixed comment. I really like a non finished button. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> Preference. See you when I see you. See when you would see me. Love you. Love you. All right. All that work. And I just chose a non finished button. It wasn't that much work, but okay. Okay. Last thing. Oh my goodness. This cover. Ah, I'm running out of time, guys. I'm running out of time. I was just thinking how cute would it be that we need a little bit of. Just a little bit of these enamel dots. Two green, two green. Um, 
see how. Uh, no. Let's see. And of all these dots. Come on. Those are really big. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna find something here. On all my balloons, I tend to do like a little one, two, three. We could just go silver, plain white kind of thing. Oh, here's those ones. I keep my I keep them in these little uh tray thing that I found. It's kind of getting over, it's a mess. I so it's nothing grand, but that's where I keep my little enamel dots all together. <clears throat> it's like a little um, I don't even know. I found it at a like a vintage store, and so I picked it up and I was like, I'll find a use for this. And that is the use I settled on. It looks like a little small, um, you know, the little trays that you put your dishes in to dry, the dish rack. That's what it looks like. I used to keep my finished cards in it, and then I had too many finished cards. So there you go. I'm trying to think four. No, I think three is the lucky number. And then maybe just one. No, just kidding. Just kidding. Up we go. Oh, the nails. The nails. Oh, you know where I could put it? I could put it as the dot of the exclamation. Okay, cover. Done. The cover is done. Oh my goodness. I think that's the longest cover I've ever done. But here it is. That is the cover. How cute. It was super fun. Okay, let's see. We got uh, about 30 minutes. So gonna have to pick it up a gear here, you guys. If you're gonna hang out with me, hopefully until the next live starts. All right. Okay, now let me clear just a little bit more space in my space here. And move back to a top view. There we go. Alrighty, alrighty. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. So, go into the next page. Really, when it comes to these pages, so I definitely need to ink. See, I got a little excess there. So I'm gonna quickly cut that off. Um, you're gonna add your photos in. So there's not too much decorating going on. That's why I always say the cover is kind of the hardest because when it comes to mini albums, most of it's gonna be some kind of photo, you know, something like that. Oh, guys, I love when the ink, it just cleans up all those cutting edges. You probably couldn't see that, but it had a lot of white frill from the cuts on that. And now it's all nice and clean and looking And even this little edge here. I think it just blends that in. So I'm okay with that. Like that. All right. So this, of course, goes like this. I haven't covered the other ones. Um, I did cut some photos out. Let me see, where did my photos go? I gotta put some of this mess back for a minute. And there we go. So I cut my photos out and photo mats at least so that I can speed that up a little. But great thing is some basic white card stuck or whatever you're working on will do the trick. So Really what we're gonna do is just decorate a little bit up around those. Um, remember that you have those printables, so you can do something like that. And you can treat it like a two page spread. So I'm just gonna decorate this side at, as well. So um, maybe a photo, I think another photo you could put there, something like that. And um, you don't need much embellishments. You really, really don't. So keep that kind of in mind. I did add in here, because I think these are fun for little books like this. You could just cut these out. So let me quickly cut one of those out. And then um, 
you know, just an easy little embellishment that you can put on your page, but and again, I'll um, do another color version of that. I need to remember that. I did almost forget mentally in my head. I'm going to put in my a note really fast. Change color. Change color, Susan. And these are fun for just like uh, tucking behind, like so. And, it, you know, it's easy too to add sometimes with these things. Now, granted, I don't have my photos, so I'm not going to be adding my photos yet, but even just a simple photo corner here. If you guys have a photo punch, those are great too, but like this little tiny highlights, the little photo corner, that's going to add a little bit of pop and simplicity to the look too. So um, it's kind of cute. And then as far as this tag goes, I'm going to be adding, I think, one of these three by four cards to it. And I'm going to do this one and detach it. It's so hard to work with big sheets. It's almost frustrating. So I'm going to just cut this out really quickly. I added the trace line so that it's an easy cutout for these printables if you want to do it by hand. But if not, you can use the paper trimmer. I almost thought about not adding the lines because then it kind of limits the spacing, but I, I decided to add the lines. So maybe I need to lighten those lines actually, now that I'm looking at it. But again, this is where inking will come to the rescue. So I think that's gonna be a lot of that. And then maybe what I'll do is, oh, I don't know. I'm going to pull on the party, guys, because I got to use it. If we did a little cupcake, so again, very basic little designs here. Oh, that's kind of going too high. So let's bring that down. It's kind of cute. Okay. How do I connect? It's the string. It's the string, Rebecca. So you're going to connect them by tying some twine around the two, the two of them. Once you layer them together, then you would just connect them with some twine in the middle there. Uh, Jackie, we make our printables in Adobe Illustrator. So AI is what we use for our printers. Um, so all of our graphic designers use um, Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so if I started with that, and I'm going to adhere this photo down here. Do a quick breeze. So when I have straight edges, I literally just do what you see here. I just do a quick ink on those. And Again, because of how strong this is, I don't feel like I have to do every edge of the photo, but I am definitely going to do the two sides of the photo. And then we'll place it down. So maybe, I don't know, I think on each page, just depending on how many photos you're adding, I would say probably maybe if anything, you do like one little accessory if you want, you know? Um, so it just depends on what you need there. I'm just gonna add this. And then as far as the tag goes, I think what I'm gonna do is place this down first. Hmm. I'll place it down and then just add another strip down here. So which strip do I want? I'm thinking probably some of this polka dot. Now, granted, I didn't cover my other ones, but I know I'll have extra. So about how much extra will I have? About that much. Okay. So the first step really would have been to cover each one of these, <laughs> each one of the pages first. And then I'll probably, yeah, I think that's cute. So I'm going to ink the top where the straight edge was. 
but not my sides yet. And I'm gonna cover the rest of that tag. So kind of like a fill in the areas. So. Yeah, I know color printable. It's uh, it's hard to, but I use it a lot for work too. So I, I, that's why I think I have one, but it's nice to, not many people have printables these days. They just go to like Office Max or Office Depot and get things printed for them. Okay, I gotta lift this up. And now I'm gonna trim off those edges. And you could, um, I would, I think I'm going to, I would cover the back of the tag just to cover it, right? So like the other side of this, I think it would be really cute to have a little color behind there too. Let me do that really quickly. So I'm just gonna, you could just cut another tag out but I feel like when I'm covering stuff, I like to do it on top of it because then um, you get your cuts a little bit similar because you are hand cutting it. So each cut is one of a kind, right? It's, it's gonna vary from cut to cut. So when, I, when I'm covering little excess pieces, I think it's good to, to just do it right on top. So I'm gonna do that really quickly. I'm gonna add a little bit more to these edges because again, from my experience, when you are doing, well, especially this, like this is, the tag is designed to be played with. It's designed to have hands touching it, flipping it, moving it around. So you just wanna make sure you have a good enough amount of adhesive on that. Okay. Um, Yes, Cherie, this event, this video will be available for replay. Yes. And of course I will post finished picture layouts. So I'm gonna line that one edge up so then I don't have to cut one of the edges. So again, just think of things like that as you're doing it. Okay, so the one edge is lined up and you might have to crease down just a little. So I did have to crease that just a little. And now I get to deal with this thing. You could cover your tag before you adhere, like if you did that step, like one of the first steps. You could do that. It's not too bad. You just got to trim up those edges. Okay. Did I not add adhesive to that front? I didn't add adhesive to the front, weirdo. Oh, it's getting too excited to see what it looks like. Cute. There we go. Now I added it to the bottom. Yeah, I did. Okay. Perfect. All right. Another thing often with my photo mats, I'll just do this. It simplifies it just a little. I still like to add a little to the edges, but I don't, it's not the same necessary need because it's, I mean, I cut my photo mats out with my paper trimmer. So you don't have that, you know, pencil marks or, or cutting edges that you need, but it does give it a little darker look. So eh, it's not working for this. So now I'm gonna blend that. <laughs> but depending on what pattern you're working with, sometimes that darker look doesn't, mm -hmm drastically make such a invents, but I like the softer look now that I'm, because of the colors, they're a little bit brighter. All right, so definitely pull that down, but yeah, so now it's this fun little flip tag. And yes, I would ink all of those edges because if it's not worth thinking, it's not worth doing. And we'll add a little bit of a cute accent or focal point on these. I'm trying to decide if that's too big. What do you guys feel? You like it, the cupcake? I could tuck it in more. 
That's kind of cute. That's kind of fun. Okay. So let me go back to my scraps here. I'm going to use this as well. So again, I would have all these little scraps to play with. Whoops. Um, yes. I love a good gingham, don't you guys? I love a good polka dot and a good gingham plaid pattern. Just so fun. Just something very simple and cute. <laughs> How many times did I say simple and cute? Somebody's gonna have to watch back through this video about those patterns. They're just so fun. It's my personal style, I guess. Simple, cute. <laughs> simply cute, I like to say. My kids tease me about it. They're like, mom, is it simply just cute? And I'm like, it is, it's just simply cute. Um, This cupcake was one of my favorites. And one of the things I love about the party is the stand inside of here too that you get. So you get this little, look at how cute this stand is. I gotta throw all my scraps on the floor, hold on. My table's getting too messy. <laughs> see how cute that is? Can you guys see that? The little stand that comes in the party accessory set too. And then the top. I'm not using the stand on this one, but it's so fun. I'm gonna have so many of these backings. That's so messy. This tape is so messy. All right. Yeah, I need, I'm trying to think, pop-up? Yes, I'm going to do a little pop-up. Even though it's inside of the book, I think I still need a little bit of pop-up. You can also, um, you can also, like, for example, this one. Um, yeah, this one. So, even though we're gonna attach this one with this twine like I was showing you, you could like tie it all together with something else, right? Like, so that if it is a little bit bulkier, then you can kind of tie it together so it stays nice and flat, kind of like what we did. See how this has like a little wrap around closure. So that's also really nice to do. Um, So what color should I do the top of the cupcake? So I have some green, I have pink, I have blue, I have blue. The top of the cupcake, I could do, hmm, let me think. Should I do like a teal? Um, trying to think. In the multicolored paper, like the stripe, is that what you're thinking? Yellow, yellow's cute. I do love yellow these days. So bright and, oh, that's so bright. So cute. The stripe, so that would be like a yellow feel. More of that stripe feel. Hmm. Trying to get a visual for that. What do you guys think? Yellow or like a, a multi-pattern? I think the stripe, the polka dots I already used somewhere. I don't think flower is gonna work. Those are the only patterns that I have. Everything else is more blenders. I'm kind of feeling like the yellow. I am really loving yellow lately, guys. There's something about the yellow. It's adorable. And do I have enough? Barely. All right. Let me trace that out. Okay. Still, even this, I might actually use this little bit of uh, scrap for the top of this to pull that yellow over here. So don't throw it away yet. Don't throw away these little, you could still go a little bit further on those scraps. 
until your project's done, that's when I start tossing it like these little extra pieces on the floor. <laughs> I did top the, I did toss those other two pieces, but these two pieces I'm going to keep until I'm, I'm for sure. No, I don't need them. And then at that point, I will not keep them in my scrap bucket, but these I'll toss on the floor. <clears throat> and then where did my dauber go? Dauber, 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 dauber. All righty. I am trying to think of another, another giveaway to add to our other giveaway winners for this live event. Like a lemon, lemon cupcake. Actually, Lemon Mindy makes this amazing lemon with raspberry. Oh my gosh, it is by far like the best cupcake. I, I absolutely miss it. Because whenever we used to have um, office parties, right, she would make it a lemon raspberry. It was so yummy. I'm tilting it a little because of the wording. Um, so that's probably why I'm doing that. I could add a little uh, textured flower or something. We'll see. Um, so this paper is just, I don't even know. It's just paper that I went to Hobby Lobby and just picked up some bright paper. Um, to do this project. And I did it for another class that I did it for. And so this is just an extra kit that I had. I did change it up from the class that I did previously um, with one of our creator partners. I didn't do a birthday theme for that one, but it's, yeah, just your general paper studio paper. It's very thin, but I, I like that thin. It Well, thin, I would actually work with mini albums. I'm not a big fan of thin paper for scrapbooking. <laughs> But um, because I'm adding so many, like, you know, the, the file folder itself has a thick feel for it. So I don't need to depend on the thickness for, I can add a couple little just flowers there. It's kind of fun. Okay. So um, where are we at on time? 6.50. Well, we're just picking it up. Like I told you guys, these pages go away so fast. Now that that cover is done. I don't know what this one, these two pages took us about 15 minutes. So I'll have to finish this up tonight, these other pages. And then I'll share some pictures with you guys. Let's do quickly um, this one over here for the sake of finishing a spread. And that's so cute, <laughs> so cute. Let me put my photos down. And then we will uh, do another giveaway. <laughs> so cute. Okay, here is a question for you guys. First person in the comments that I see. And it is really hard in the commentary just because everybody's internet connection is different on your end. So that's what's gonna vary it for each person is because your in internet bandwidth will vary from person to person. That's just how it works. But we will try our darnest to get a couple other giveaways in here. I did mention one other daughter's birthday Oh, I don't know if I mentioned what day though, now that I think about it. So that's not a good question. I'm trying to remember if I did or didn't. I don't think I did. Well, let me just ask it. And if I didn't, I'll go to a different question. Lacey's birthday. Does anybody know the date and the month of Lacey's birthday? I think I mentioned that it's coming up, but I'm not sure I mentioned the month and the day, did I? Pamela Burnett. I did mention September, so I'll give that to you. I was like, did I mention the day or just the month? I'm pretty sure I just mentioned the month. Joanne, um, Riley's is in November, but yeah, September. I'm waiting to see if anyone else happens to say it. Nope, just months. Okay, that's what I thought. I'm pretty sure I just mentioned all the other kids, their months. So that is correct, Pamela Burnett. September, you are the lucky winner there. Congrats. Um, September 8th is her birthday. 
and Riley's is November 27th. So it's end of November. She was like my Thanksgiving baby. <clears throat> on that. Okay, so what color should I do the balloon or the, the base of the, not the balloon, the, the hat? What do you guys think? Um, I'm kind of thinking maybe, no. Till? That kind of pops off that dark blue. You guys like that? Hmm. Yeah, I like that too. I got to make some quick decisions. We're running out of time here. So I'm going to trace that out of this teal. So see how I adjusted that a little to go with my scrap? This is actually all I have left of this. I did pull it out. Different teal than the other ones, but such a cute set. How many of you guys already have the party accessory from when we first released it back in 2018? I'm just curious. So either comment like have or that you just bought it. I'm just curious to see what like percentage wise, like how many of you guys had it and how many of you guys just bought it with the pre-sale? Or not at all, if you haven't even placed your pre-sale yet. <laughs> It is a really fun set though. I love the party accessory. It's a good general one for any kind of celebrational memories, not just party, you know, not just birthday, but like new year or even just a fun like graduation or a celebration of any kind. I think it's really cute because again, it's all about what papers you use. Like I'm making it really bright and fun and birthday centric, but I can see this hat being like golds and blacks for New Year's, you know, different things like that. You just bought it. So a lot of you didn't have it yet. That's great. I'm glad that you guys were able to get it finally, or at least have the option, the opportunity to get it. Trisha was a member from the first of the Kiwi Clefts. I already had it, but she did buy the new paper. That's great. Okay, so now I'm just cutting the, or tracing just this top piece because I want it to be a different color. So I just, um, you know, patchworking that together there. Uh, release die cuts, place of templates, Laura Virginia. So um, I actually, it's not a no. I actually, somebody asked that and I meant to answer it in the Q and A because um, a lot of people do ask like, will you ever do die cuts to go? Um, and it's come up in discussion, but truthfully, we just haven't made it to the top of the, uh, the projects um, to put enough energy to really kind of talk it out to feel like what we think about that. So it's not that it's a no, um, we have considered it. We definitely have thought about it. It's just, we haven't made it more of our, our focus and our mission. Um, just because I've tested it both ways. And when you have to go to the machine and like figure it out, it just, I don't know, there's, there, you lose the simplicity to it. But yet I know a lot of people are like, well, um, like with arthritis or just different reasons, things like that, that I understand that thought process. But when it comes to like, for me, when I sit down to scrapbook, I, there's a simplicity that comes where I just can sit down. Like I don't have to get up and then go to the machine and come back and just like, it almost takes away from that feeling just a little. Of course, you want to use the designer templates as a designing tool. Um, so I, I, that's what I'm saying. It, we, I've like weighed out all of those scenarios and there's just so many more scenarios that we can consider in that. Um, so hopefully that answers your question. It's not a no, we've definitely talked about it. I'm not necessarily against it, but then I'm also not like, it's not my suggested way. Like I would feel like it would actually complicate it a little bit more. So, hmm, yeah, like I said, it's, it's, it's a thought. Yeah, so like I said, I it, it's it's not a, it's not a no. Like we we brought it up in discussions, we've talked about it. 
uh, of course we would, if we went that route, we would want to make sure that like, we feel that it would be an audience that we would want to kind of talk to or, or enough benefit that we would want to present it that way because you definitely have capital. Like uh, you, I, we would have to invest, of course, it's a whole nother little um, arm of the plan to create system, but it's not that we're not against it. So hopefully that answers your question. <laughs> hopefully that answers your question. Understand kind of where we are with it. I was looking for a stapler and I, I swear I had one in my little thing here. And I don't see it because it's so cute. Like you could staple that just right on there, you know? And then I could do the same thing where I pop it up. So I guess instead of a stapler, I'm just gonna do a little pop-up there. That way the two layers bend together on that. I'm gonna offset it a little too, like that. And then let's do, oh, Let's do a little a bling, some bling from our front that we used on the front page, like kind of centered there. Cute. Okay. Let me adhere that down. Okay. Oh my goodness, my time is out, you guys. I definitely have had so much, so much, so much, so much fun with you guys. Um, I will post a little uh, tutorial, the finishing of the layout. So just again, remember these are over on the principle. I'll show you guys how I plan. I just use these, I'm gonna use these as strips. I'll probably cut this out of a balloon. And then my plans with this extra printable is I'm gonna um, probably do the journaling on the bracket page um, there. That's my thoughts. Um, when I was designing it, I was like, well, I think some a little sentiment thing and just different things like that would be good. So, Thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, if you guys want to hang around, Annis is up next. She has a fun scrapbooking. I think she's doing a sketch challenge. So she'll, have, she'll be sharing a sketch. And so grab some papers, some designer templates and create along with her. I think that would be really, really fun. You can at least get a page done um, while you watch. So, all right guys, we'll chat soon. Thanks again for all of your guys' amazing support and for joining us celebrating 11 years. Thanks, talk to you guys soon. Bye.